Hi, my name is Mark Perella, and I'll be going over the gear list for the U.S. Nepal Friendship Team. The team consists of seven climbers that will be heading out onto the mountain on June 4th, 2022. We're going to go through the list of all the gear that we need for Denali, and this will be our final check. Parachute I will do three yes, gear checks prior to leaving. I do this to make sure that I have all the gear I need, yet be most weight efficient yep. prior to getting Got onto it. the glacier. The list of the personal gear I'll be taking on this expedition will be in the video description. Got it. Being the third time on Denali, each piece of gear that I bring with Got me it. has been researched, analyzed, and made Got sure it. to be the best piece for the expedition. Got it. Prior to leaving, I try to get all the gear necessary. There are a few stores in Anchorage where you can get gear such as REI, AMH, and the Hoarding Marmot, but uh, you can't depend on that. And once leaving Anchorage and headed towards Talkeetna, which is a very small town, you will find very limited resources for any additional gear that you may need. As cold as Denali is, a good glove system is definitely important. Make sure that you have several layers of gloves for all conditions. Eye protection is a must. Make sure you have an extra pair of glasses too. Four pairs of socks and two liners. Down booties for around camp. Flags for the summit. A first aid kit with an extensive amount of drugs because the doctor is a long ways away. Toiletry kit with sunscreen and lip balm. The only way of charging your electrical devices is through solar panels. Make sure that you have solar panels and you know that they work for the devices that you're bringing. A radio on the mountain is a must so you can listen to the updated weather reports. The Garmin InReach will give us communications to everyone else beyond the mountain. Two ways to travel on the lower glacier so you don't punch through a snow bridge into a crevasse are by skis or by snowshoes. We chose to use snowshoes. Make sure if you're using snowshoes that they have heel rises on them. It'll make a world of difference when you're going uphill. Alaskan mountaineering and hiking has monthly rentals. Make sure you reserve yours in time because they are in high demand. For poles, I like to have the whippet just in case I find myself on the steep slope. I chose a long ice axe, which I like to use, especially along the buttress. Sled rigging material, climbing gear, crampons, and a good pair of boots are essential. Have your sleep system dialed in, insulation for your water bottles, and your cooking utensils. Check, check, and recheck. Make sure that there's no missing gear or redundancy in gear, which would cause for unnecessary, unwanted weight. <laughs> Denali is the coldest mountain on earth, so make sure you have a proficient layering system in mind. Having several base layers are key. Also, I love my down jackets. A light puffy, mid puffy, and expeditionary weight puffy are essential. I am using an 8,000 meter suit this time because there's no exceptions. I'll make it to the top no matter if it's 40 or negative 40. Do your solid research on the group gear that you'll need for the amount of people you're bringing with you. Shovels, probes, pickets, stoves are very important on this trip and you have to make sure that you have the necessary gear for the amount of people in your party. This is the cook set that we have going with us. The big one right here will probably be used for mainly boiling water. The other two will be used primarily for cooking food. We'll probably put two XGK MSR stoves under this one so we can boil water faster. And the two Dragonfly stoves will be used on these two as well. We have two big MSR fuel bottles just so when we go to high camp we can bring these instead of hopefully bringing an entire gallon of gas and additional. And we have the two smaller bottles just for some versatility in our climbing plans. The setup for this will look something like this where we'll have two XGK stoves next to each other here like this with the 8 liter pot on top. This is a big pot so we can boil a lot of water and melt a lot of snow especially when you have these two bad boys lined up next to each other. 
the dragonfly stove will be used in this function here as a cooking stove. The reason we'll use this mainly for cooking is because it has a knob here to adjust the flame for a simmer as opposed to the XGK which does not have this option. So there's a quick look at all the packing that's involved with this trip. The next step is packing the two large duffel bags and backpack for the trip. I try to make sure that my bags don't go over 50 pounds so I don't have to pay the ridiculous fees on the airlines for additional weight. Once I land in Anchorage, I will reconfigure my gear so it's ready to go for the climb. It's June 1st and I got into Anchorage last night around 11.50 and got to my hotel uh, in Anchorage. I am doing some last minute organization where I'm kind of putting, you know, what I'm going to be taking on the sled right here. I'm organizing that and then I got the group gear here. We'll divide up among the team once they get in. And then I am packing the pack that I'm going to use on the I hope glacier. this video has helped you prepare for your journey and make sure that you do your due diligence, do your research and make sure that you don't skimp on gear. It's essential to have the best gear and be prepared for all situations when on an expedition.